Thank you very much, Mr. Hal. Drew Brees joins us outside the Saints locker room. Drew, we'll get to uh, what's a crazy afternoon for the New Orleans Saints, but let's talk about your health first. Uh, you look good in the first half towards the end, then an apparent ribs injury kept you out of the second half. Uh, just how are you feeling, and, and when did that decision take place at halftime? Yeah, you know, you come in for halftime and you sit for a while and um, um, just, you know, ha had, had a reaction, you know, to where when I, when I came out, in the second half and, and tried to throw, um, I just realized that I, I wasn't going to be effective. You know, I wasn't going to be able to, to do my job out there. And um, that, you know, having Jameis out there gave us a better chance. Did this all stem from the second quarter hit by Kendavia Street? He was called for a personal foul in that play. Did that obviously stem from that play? You know, it's, it's been cumulative. Um, but, um, but yeah, that was, that was uh, what, what kind of set things off again. Drew, I, I know the competitor you are. You don't miss much football. You haven't missed much football since you arrived here. Uh, I saw the facial expressions of you watching in the second half. How hard was that to watch in the second half? Well, you want to be out there. Um, but, but since you're not, um, you know, you do the next best thing to, to help the guys that, that are out there competing. And so I think for me it was, you know, just making sure that I was another set of eyes and ears for when guys came to the sideline. Jameis talking through each drive um, at the conclusion, just, you know, trying to give, you know, he, 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 listen, he's played a lot of football too, you know, but just equip him with some of the things that maybe I was seeing um, instill confidence. And, um, you know, man, Jameis played great. The entire team played great in that second half. Offense uh, did what they had to do. Defense, you know, was almost shut out football. So that was, um, everybody rose to the occasion. Drew, was there any point in the second half where you thought you, you could go back in there? I was hoping so. I was hoping so. And that's why I, you know, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I had to stay moving um, and keep the blood flowing. But um, I, I was hoping that at some point that might be a possibility, but unfortunately it wasn't. With that said, are you optimistic you'll be back next week? And what are your feelings on playing next week? I am, but I'm just taking it one day at a time. I'm taking it one day at a time. Right before the half, you lead the two-minute drill with 150 left. Fifth time you've done it this year. Uh, since you and Sean Payton came together in 2006, no team has put together more two-minute drill drives. What does that mean, and why are you guys so successful doing that? Well, listen, we, uh, we, we, we spend a lot of time um, game planning it just like we do everything else, every other situation. Third down, red zone, you know, first and second down. Um, so, you know, you understand the importance of, of what a drive like that can do for you, not just the points that you score, but I think uh, from a momentum perspective um, and a confidence perspective. Drew, finally, uh, all season we've seen it. You know, Michael Thomas goes down, Emmanuel Sanders goes down, the young wide receivers step up. You mentioned Jameis stepping up for you. This was a weird game. A lot of injuries, a lot of moving parts, but you guys pull away convincingly in the second half. What does this say about this football team just finding another way to win and everybody stepping up? Again, you said it, finding another way to win, and that's what it's all about. You know, week in and week in out, out in this league, it's hard to do. It's really hard to do. And listen, I don't care what a team's record is on paper or, you know, the fact that, that you know, the Niners have been bit by the injury bug pretty significantly this year. Um, that was a top five defense statistically. Right. Right. And we knew the, we, you know, we knew the, the battle that was going to be for us. And listen, the first half was not good. <laughs> you know, I mean, we, we, we kind of lucked out with, with some good field position on a, a, a long kick return. And then, um, you know, just some other good fortune. Um, and then obviously we're able to put together a good two minute drive to, to, to go in with the lead. But I think we were very fortunate to have the lead at halftime because we had only possessed the ball for I don't know how long, but it right. felt like maybe four or five minutes, literally. Yep. Um, and so uh, I think we knew that we had to play a lot better in the second half. And I think all around we did. Well, Drew, I uh, hope you get better. I know you're going to do everything to get back in the football field against the Falcons a week from now. Uh, appreciate your time. Uh, enjoy this win. I know it's, it's a win. It was kind of a bittersweet for you, but we'll talk to you again next week. Thank you.